Hello, our nation. This is Our Land in Gaming, bringing you a brand new video. This is one of my first uploads in a long time, just a video of me talking over some gameplay. This is Overwatch. I recorded this a while ago with my friend Pyromania, but um, I just wanted to talk about the new Black Ops 4 Blackout mode. So we've released, they've released new info on it. It's a little old, but I wanted to go over it on my YouTube channel. So the Blackout beta player count will be 80 players. Not a hundred like Fortnite, so um, they decided to do that for quality purposes, and I really like that they put that into account. And um, so there's also five vehicles total, um, but there's four confirmed right now. It's the cargo truck, the ATV, the Zodiac inflatable boat, and the little bird helicopter. So the cargo truck, you can hold stuff in it, so like if your backpack's full, and then you can have one driver and one passenger the ATV, same with the Zodiac, and... Um, four passengers in the little bird. And so heli helicopters have spawns designated for them, so people will definitely need, will be looking into that and memorizing that. And will probably be a more viable way to get around. And every, apparently everybody has wingsuits, so at any point during the game you can use it and fly across. Um, but there is fall damage, you have to be careful about that. And there is friendly fire, so just like Fortnite, they're going to have friendly fire when it comes out, but we'll see if anything changes, because we know that they took it away from Fortnite. The amount of trolls in the community, we'll have to find out. So, there are RPGs available, and of course will be used to take out vehicles. The max health actually is 150, and there's actually more ways to heal, and compared to Fortnite, um, the basic bandages actually can heal you all the way back to full health, like in Fortnite it only goes to 75, and of course there's still bigger sized med packs, the king sized and then there's trauma kits apparently there's also t different types of perks and there's paranoia which gives an audio alert when you're tagged skulker move faster while crouched it's awesome um, outlander reduce damage from circle and there's looter and so you can reveal by nearby stashes and items and iron lungs of course you can hold your breath longer underwater while shooting snipers also and then there's consumer, reduce times it takes to use items, heal or revive teammates by 20%. And uh, players can carry two primary weapons. Um, a melee knife is used if you don't have one. And so they're trying to get 60 frames per second for all platforms. And there's no um, FPS lock right now. There's 20 characters and I love zombies. And I'm so glad you get to play as the zombies and they're actually bringing them and incorporating them into Blackout mode. There will be sections of maps that have zombies. And the, of course you can play as the zombies cast. And then there are going to be emotes, of course, start that train again, but uh, it won't be in the beta. Um, and then of course they're incorporating so many maps from our favorite uh, Treyarch series. And they're actually considering bringing in our other favorite maps from other Call of Duties, but for now they're just basing it on Treyarch games. Firing range is apparently going to be like the Tilted Towers, I guess. It says the hottest of the hotspots if you want instant action with plenty of players. This is your go-to destination, so I'm pretty hyped. And they're testing split screen for Blackout, so that's going to be dope. Play together, like, person to person, which I've always loved growing up. Um, now I'll have limited time events, kind of like in Call of Duty, like with the contracts in Black Ops 3. Um, there's two types of armor. There's nothing about clothes or anything to pick up with that. There's a rarity variation in Blackout. Um, it makes the rest of the game confusing, apparently. But I guess play players can trade items between players. Um, let's see what else. And there, they claim that the point of the beta is to ensure game tuning, item tuning, progression are all on track to the numbers Treyarch. So. Let's see. Horns on vehicles can be honked. Definitely gonna be awesome. Uh, I love doing that. Okay, so there's no other weather than the day setting, unlike Fortnite, so there's, the, there's that. Oh, and there's a specific melee weapon just for, about the zombies. Nova Gas Symbology Circle Outside. So that's apparently a zombie's lore. There's no voice line dialogue between characters. Dang. Um. So it looks like we got a big, big information today. Um, you can expect other players when you're eliminated, of course. Since your dart is available on Blackout. And so... 
Oh, okay, so the dart can be stuck to a car or a, like a helicopter, and it gives you like information like as you move across the map about like enemy movement and stuff. So that's gonna be awesome. Temporary setback. Mm. Bullet drop is in blackout and takes a bit to get used to. Oh, okay, so like all Call of Duty, we've always known multiplayer just doing. You aim and you shoot, and of course the damage is going to be different, which is why there's long barrel and stuff. But there is going to be drop in this game, so that's going to be awesome. So definitely more skill incorporated. So the skyscraper in Blackout was originally much, much taller in the map, but Trick reduced its height because it would cause players to get dizzy running up and down. Alright, so that's pretty good. And then they released a picture of the Blackout map. Um, my current setup right now, I can't really display the info, but if you look up... Um, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout map, it should show you. And it looks like firing range is dead center. And there's also Nuketown Island, which I almost forgot to mention. That's going to be one of my favorite places. Nuketown's always been the home for me in Call of Duty. I've started on Black Ops 4. Well, that about covers the new article on Black Ops 4 Blackout Beta. I'll start uploading more, and I'll see you guys later. This is Arland. Peace.